guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mandy's Corner. Come on in, pull up a seat, relax, and enjoy some Friday tea with me. Okay, guys, um, I wasn't going to exactly do this particular Friday tea on this particular person, but I've actually had some people ask me my thoughts on this person, and um, I'm not going to get into... A lot of what I know people want uh, everybody to discuss about this person. Like I said before, Friday Tea is all about picking a content creator, a streamer, and finding something positive to say about that person. Okay? And this particular person, a lot of people have heard me uh, speak about before. So a lot of people may find it surprising that I actually find good things in this person and I am talking about none other than the famous or infamous depending on how you want to look at it Jake Paul okay first off let me start by saying right now we are not gonna get um, we're not gonna get on a rant about Jake Paul and we're not gonna jump on the hate Jake Paul bus um, we're not gonna compare Jake and Logan because it's not fair to either one of them no matter what you think of the paul brothers they are both still individual human beings okay i've, I've always had that theory on them I'm, I'm not gonna do that and i also want to say that i had had it in mind to go ahead and do something on jake before um watching the shane dawson series which I, actually by the way shane if you ever see this amazing job dude you you and jake not the one out of the park. Um, I also want to say that everything I'm about to say is not based on Shane series. This has been my thought on Jake all along. Um, so one of the things that I do see about Jake Paul, and like I said, this is going to surprise a lot of you since I have spoken out before with some people about how I didn't approve of some of the things Jake did. But that having been said, you cannot deny the fact that he's extremely intelligent. He's extremely business minded. I mean, come on, look at this kid. He dropped out of high school, okay? Yes, he does have a diploma, but technically they would say he's a dropout. He has no college to speak of. And look at what he has managed to do in just a couple of very short years. He provides himself with an income and a living, a home. He provides those things for other people. He has found a way to turn himself into one of the biggest brands on the face of the earth. And one of the things I really like about it is he's not doing it all. He's not putting all of his eggs in one basket. You know, it's not all about YouTube. He's got something going on over here and something going on over there. He's got his fingers in so many things and he's building a friggin' empire. How many 22 year old kids can do that? I mean, let's be straight. How many of us at 22 were able to do that? No, we were focusing more on either working regular jobs just to pay the rent or building families in which there's nothing wrong with either one of those things. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And if you get right down to it, a lot of us were, you know, we were still in party mode at 22. You know, it, that's normal, you know, but at 22 years old, Jake Paul is running a multi-million dollar empire all based around him and what he's been able to do and pull off and his work ethic. Love him or hate him. The boy has a work ethic that not many people twice his age will ever have or have ever thought of having. So no matter what your thoughts on Jake are, you can't deny these things. I mean, the, yes, these are my opinions, but if you actually sit down and look at them, they're also fact. It, it's, I don't know, like I said, love him or hate him, you've got to kind of admire what he has managed to do. 
And at such a young age, that's what really makes it so remarkable is his age and that he has managed to do all of this. So, you know, while I may not agree with a lot of things he's done, I, I can't take that away from him. Nobody can. And I really think if he keeps a good head on his shoulders and keeps going, we could probably see a lot of great things come out of Jake Paul, just to be honest. And I know that's going to be, with a lot of people, that's going to be an unpopular opinion. But it's just the way I see it, based on actual facts, based on what he has actually been able to do so far. So, yeah, that's that's my theories on Jake Paul. And like I said, you know, Friday Tea is just going to be little short, very short episodes. Me kind of, you know, like I said, throwing out some of the positive I see about another YouTuber or a streamer. And like I said last episode, I, I really want you guys to kind of drop in the comments and tell me one good thing you see about the person I do each Friday tea on. So this week, you know, whether you love or hate Jake Paul, there's something there is normally, I'm not going to say everybody, but with probably 95% of the population, there is always at least something good in them to find. So do me a favor, hit those comments with at least one good thing you see about Jake Paul. Are you a Jake Pauler? If you are, then I'm sure you've got bukus of, of positive things to say. Let me hear them. Are you a Jake hater? If you are, I challenge you to find that one good positive thing and let me hear what it is. Now, some people, as I said, have asked me to elaborate because I have said things about the Pauls before. Of, the way I kind of viewed them, what my thoughts were on them. They've kind of asked me also because I'm a big Shane Dawson fan, you know, they, they've asked me to kind of elaborate on what I thought of the series, what I think of Jake now versus before. Um, I think for Mandy's world, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to do something along those lines, but it's not really going to be necessarily just all based on what I think of Shane's series. It's going to be um, things I've always kind of thought about Jake. You guys will see. You guys will see. But make no mistake about it. It's not going to be hate fest. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm going to do. So just throwing that out there. Now, next week's Friday Tea is going to be on somebody that... If you followed my channel for a while, if you followed my writing career, if you followed my streaming career, you absolutely know I friggin adore and love. And uh, he doesn't even know he's going to be the subject of next week's Friday Tea uh, Games for Kicks. If you have not checked out Kicks' channel, by all means, make sure you go check out Kicks. I will put a link in the description. I'll also put a link to Jake's channel for those of you who may not, if you've been under a rock somewhere and haven't heard of Jake Paul, you can go check him out too. So yeah, guys, that's Friday Tea. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.